Hey stars! If you guys want to learn how to make this amazing pepperoni cheese ball recipe that was submitted by one of my subscribers, keep watching. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a recipe that was submitted by my subscriber, Christy. It is the pepperoni cheese balls and you can use it for a dip for your veggies or you can even stuff it into a split chicken breast or um, I don't know, you tell me what you come up with, but let's go. So the ingredients for today's recipe is one and a half cups mozzarella cheese, uh, 32 grams of Parmesan cheese, some everything bagel seasoning, it does not have to be from Trader Joe's if you don't have one, um, 8 ounces of cream cheese, 45 pepperoni, and a fourth cup of green onion. So, here we go. Um, first step is to have your cream cheese softened. I already have my cream cheese softened here. Next step is to measure out your cheeses. I've already done that here with my handy dandy food scale. Next step is to take a drink of your Coke Zero or any of your other beverages that you may enjoy if you are totally against any type of soda. All right, so it says to take your cheese mix, dump it in with the cream cheese, and to take your 45 pepperonis, and oh my gosh, I get to cut up the pepperoni, so I'm so excited because I get to use my cutting board that I got from Jen, Life by Jen, I'll leave her link down below. She's an amazing, awesome person. And I, sh I could have grated my own cheese if I would have uh, bought a block of cheese for this recipe and then I could have used my awesome grater that I got from Christy. Cut up this pepperoni. In the recipe it says to cut your pepperoni into like fours into four separate pieces so just do them in a nice little stack and then it makes it so much easier oh. dog hair can get anywhere I swear this is the biggest stack done so I have my cream cheese that's softened and all of my other cheeses poured in here I cut up my pepperoni and I was going to use a hand mixer get them but I decided I'll just fold it together with my fork and I really hope you're getting a good this is looking delicious. Hope I'm making it right, Christy. She also told me what she is meal prepping tonight, and that is pizza on portobello mushroom caps which made me want that. So I got myself some portobello mushroom caps so I can use the rest of this pepperoni. And maybe this weekend when I'm meal prepping, I can make myself a couple of those. All right, so this looks pretty mixed up. Okay, so the next step in the recipe, let me take my ring off, is to form it into balls. It doesn't say what size balls. Is this gonna roll nicely? Oh, okay. So roll it into balls. It may have said to roll it into what size balls, but I didn't pay attention. 
my hands are filthy now, so we're just gonna roll it into some balls. bigger than others. I have cheese everywhere. Okay, so the next step is after... Let me get down. So the next step is to then, after you have rolled the cheese balls up, is to take your everything but the bagel seasoning which i tried to find it i tried to find it and i could not find it at any of my local stores so i made my own it's probably nowhere near as good but whatever so i looked up what the ingredients were in everything but the bagel seasoning and this is what i came up with it said minced onions minced garlic black poppy seeds and regular poppy seeds along with sea salt flakes now I couldn't find any sea salt flakes, but I did have just sea salt, so that's what I used. I just poured some into a baggie. I know the salt is smaller, and that's why it probably said flakes, but um, just poured it all into a baggie, gave it a nice little shake, and so this is going to be my seasoning that I roll it in. Now, these are my little uh, balls right now. Oh, they look glorious. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going to get a plate. Or no, I'm going to get a little bowl. Got myself a little bowl. And I'm pour my mixture into the bowl. I should have just put it in the baggie and shook it up. Anyway, so I got my little mixture in my bowl. And now I'm going to, I wish I had tongs. I'll just use a fork. So now I'm. What is this? I have a feeling my dog did this somehow. Or a dishwasher. Anyway, it's clean, so I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna take the first ball, and I'm just gonna put it in the bowl. And then I'm just kinda gonna roll it yeah this is gonna work okay I'm gonna roll it and I'm gonna kind of like pour the seasoning on top of it give it a nice couple of rolls around in the seasoning then when it's done I'm just gonna I can't really pick it up with the fork I guess now but it's not gonna get your hands sticky now because it's covered in the seasoning so I give it a nice little shake and then I'm gonna put it right back on the little tray and I'm just gonna re repeat that with all of them You can see doing the same thing again, just rolling it around in that seasoning. And if you want more, I mean, I eyeballed the seasoning of how much I put in. I'm an eyeballer. This is looking amazing. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of these and then I'll show you the rest. So. I have all of them rolled in the seasoning mixture and they look delicious. I, It says to lay, to cover them with saran wrap, then put them in the refrigerator for an hour to chill. I don't have any saran wrap, but I got this really nice um, meal planning thing, Walmart, $9.99 for 15 of them. So I just put them in here. They fit really well. They are so good looking, if you can see. 
so I'm just going to put these in the refrigerator for a little bit to chill and then I will try them. Alright, so it's been some time and it's had a chance to chill, so here it is. I just have a couple pieces of cauliflower on here because that's what we're going to try it with. And here is the bowl. Okay, so let's get a little bit of it on there for Tiffany. Have all these other ones just in the refrigerator in your Tupperware 